Um, I'm hoping it's just everything coming up and that's what it is, but man. Work with me here, people. Hey, what's up, guys? Probably going to be really uneventful today. I am obviously not getting better. It's frustrating, really, it is, because there's your reason why I just told me sick. So either I never had strep or... I had something worse and the medicine they gave me isn't going to do anything to it. Um, I'm hoping it's just everything's coming up and that's what it is, but man, it's insane. Like my ears are starting to hurt again. I don't mind being sick. I can handle coughing as much as it sucks, as much as it makes your, your head pound. But my ears hurting is the worst thing in the world. I had problems with my ears when I was younger. I had tubes in my ears and they always hurt and every time I got water in them they would hurt. And so ever, I think ever since then, I, my ears hurt. It's the worst feeling in the world for me. And maybe it's not just me, but that, I hate it. That's starting to hurt again. Nothing I take. I mean, I'm taking Mucinex. I'm taking NyQuil. Still taking the penicillin, and it doesn't seem to get better. I don't feel like I've progressed any more forward of getting over whatever I have since I went to the doctor on Tuesday. I think it was Tuesday. Monday. And that's frustrating because it's like, okay, I'm not getting better. I'm getting worse like I feel worse today than I did when I went to the doctor on Monday and that's what's frustrating is I am no I, yeah, I, I keep repeating myself I'm sorry but it's frust it is it's frustrating because it's, you go to the doctor in the hopes that they'll give you something and diagnose you properly and give you the right stuff and granted I mean if I had strep and that's what she thought it was and so it's turning something else that's not her fault I'm gonna go back on Thursday if I'm not any better. They said give it 10 days and I'll give it 10 days. I might even go Monday. If we're supposed to get some snow um, here to tomorrow afternoon into Monday morning, and if I can't get to work, then uh, be, and it's mainly because where we moved is on a back country road. And if I can't get down that road because it drifted shut, and every time it snowed, the boss has said that it's been drifted closed. That's why he's never been able to come in when it snows. So if we can't get there, then I'm going to have Nikki take me to the hospital, or the clinic It's at the hospital, and see a doctor before Thursday, because it's, I mean, I'm coughing so bad that it's making, my chest is beyond hurting. I mean, it just hurts to touch, like putting pressure like this on my chest is painful, and it shouldn't be that way. I don't consider myself a wuss. You can only, your body, you can only handle so much, no matter how tough, how tough you are. You can only handle so much pain, physical pain, before you have to just throw a towel in and be like, this really freaking hurts. And it does, it really freaking hurts. And there's nothing I can do. There's no magic combination of pills that I can take or anything. Nick is gonna get some, try to find some raw honey tonight to see if that helps and drinking some hot tea. But I said, I'm not kidding. I got, the, I mean, there's Mucinex there and I got NyQuil here, and this stuff doesn't even knock me out. I mean, this is, how messed up is that? I have to take two servings of this. I took the one, which is 30 milliliters last night, and I started to feel a little like lightheaded, woozy, and so I went to lay down. Within five, 10 minutes of laying down, I was wide awake. So I took another 30 milliliters way sooner than I was supposed to, and that knocked me out. I'm a big guy, but geez. You shouldn't take that much to this crap to knock me out. My poor wife had a horrible day at work. Um, one of the employees that's been giving her grief for a long time now, granted, she's not, she's an assistant manager now, just doesn't have a pay change, which is kind of bull. Uh, sorry, I probably got tons of eye boogers in my eyes. I haven't even taken a shower yet. Um, but one of the employees that's been giving her grief, um, like you said, if you have any things you want to talk about, let me know. And so one of them did, and then the other one, and she was all let Shirley, the manager, know. Well, the one girl gave her attitude. I'll tell Shirley myself. And just went off on Nikki and proceeded to call Nikki a fat bitch. And I'm sorry, where I work, if anywhere I've worked, if I called an assistant manager names, be grounds for termination, but not here. Nikki just walked away, clocked out, and went home for the day. She told the manager, she's like, I'm not going to be here if she's here. Because all she does is cause problems for us, and the manager knows it. If you're going to have that kind of an attitude, get the hell out. If it's so bad, this is the girl that we were talking about yesterday, um, that 
decided that she has to go to days now and part time because she can't afford the bus fare. You figure it out. Can't figure it out? Find another job. She works over in the area where I work, or lives over there. And there's a salon there by she, where she lives, but she chooses to come all the way over to Beaverdale. Why? Because the girls there are mean, she said. I'm starting to wonder if maybe she's the one that's got the attitude and that's why no one likes her there. Because she tried working there and that's why she came to this salon. Nikki's not going to stand by and take it anymore. She's done. You know, there's no reason that Nikki should have to give up being an assistant manager and go work at a different salon because of this woman. And so that, she came home just bawling her eyes out today at like noon. So she went back at 4 o'clock to finish closing because the girl had left. And they're going to talk things over with the manager and they're going to decide what needs to be done. So that and me being sick and it's just been one of those days. Nikki's going to make some dinner tonight when she gets home. And we're going to just watch some movies and relax. We're going to go to the theater but I'm in no shape to go anywhere. But I just want to get on here and give you guys something. Let you guys know that I'm not forgetting about you. That I'm still out here. I'm still vlogging. Um, sick or not. Uh, I'm still doing these no matter Even if it's a five, two, three minute, one minute clip. I'll still get something out to you guys. So I do appreciate it. I really do. So thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. I do appreciate it. Even when I'm sick like this, you guys will watch these, and I do appreciate that a lot. Um, we'll see you guys tomorrow, and have a good night.